Hello there everybody and I want to welcome you to what is going to be the newest let's play on my channel. I'm very excited for this. This game is brought to you in part by the wonderful folks at Rare, which means it is a bit of an older game because Rare was bought out a couple of years ago now. So this is actually a game that dates back to my childhood and I want to do a let's play of this for a very long time because it's one of my favorite games ever. Uh, and it's pretty much what got me into gaming. Without this game, I really don't think I would be where I am today. I remember getting this game on Christmas morning when I was about 8 years old. Got my Nintendo 64, and this game came with it, and I must have spent hours at it the first time I got it. So, one of my favorite games ever. Total classic. A huge game when it came out, and it's still a pretty big game today. Most people I talk to who have played it have really liked it. And how could you not love this game? Because it is colorful, it's fun, it's quirky, it's short and it's sweet. And these animals are just hanging out in the middle of the woods, having themselves a jolly old grand hoedown of sorts. The only thing that's missing is one of those jugs that you can like blow into or like a washboard or something so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the little intro to my newest let's play which is banjo kazooie um so yeah definitely definitely love this game i have the xbox version rare was bought out by my couple of years ago and um they have this game available on the xbox live arcade if you want to purchase it the game is pretty much identical to the actual Nintendo 64 version. No gameplay or anything has been changed, just the buttons. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to get started. And because this is Xbox, you've got all this stuff, leaderboards, achievements, you know, blah blah blah. But the main focus here, we've got three files. Uh, this one which we will be playing on is this big lazy bear laying in bed, doing what bears do best, I do suppose. And then we've got here, this guy's cooking on a rather small kitchen. I really don't know how you would be able to make, like, anything in that kitchen, but... And then we've got him playing Game Boy, which... That's a really old Game Boy. <laughs> that dates back a couple of years now, but... We don't want to disturb him from his tasks, but what we should do is we should wake him up and we should start our adventure, so let's go. This game was also one of the first Let's Plays I ever watched when I started getting into Let's Playing on YouTube um, by one of my favorite YouTubers and a really good friend of mine, um, Dark Minded Sith, who has done the best Banjo Kazooie Let's Play hands down that I've ever seen. So, shameless plug for him. Uh, hopefully, I can do a good enough job with this game. And you guys will enjoy it. So, we're going to get started here. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. I don't know if it's the teeth or the chin or the eyes, but they all stand you out from the crowd, that's for sure. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie. Young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no. You must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find... It's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Oh, you made her mad now. Woman's scorn. She's gonna march right out there. Well, we'll see about that. And that looks to be 2D now. Very small little girl. It's kind of concerning that she would be the prettiest girl in the whole land. There must not be very many bears to choose from in this nick of the woods, I don't know. Hi there, 2D. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! This dialogue moves really slowly. I'll be able to speed it up later, but right now I can't, so... Ah, uh, doing what bears do best, sleeping. Looks quite comfortable, too. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure, too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. 
Well, I guess you are a witch. There's not. You, I mean, you could technically do that, probably. Is that your brother? Bear, Mr. Mole. I can't see him. I don't think bears fly last time I checked. Oh, uh, I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Uh-oh, there's a commotion going on in here. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh, her rhyming is fantastic. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help. Banjo, wake up. Now. Ugh, five more minutes. Gotta let me sleep here. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. It's kind of weird he's got a bird living in his backpack, but... Oh, that is one of the great things about this game. So, we're gonna go find out what happened to our sister, because she disappeared. Didn't get out there fast enough, I guess. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? <laughs> Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. And this guy, Bottles the Mole, is going to be our mentor throughout the entire game. Now, he teaches us moves that allow us to move on throughout the game. Um, I'm not gonna get him to teach them to us. I'm just going to show you guys, so we're gonna decline for now. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Okay, so we met our first major character, uh, Bottles. We'll run into him throughout the entire game. Whenever you see a molehill, you can just go up to it and press X, which will usually summon Bottles. Uh, you'll see his mole molehills in every single world. When you find him, you will want to talk to him. Uh, you can kill enemies, and they drop uh, honeycombs, which are your energy, being that, you know, Banjo is a bear. Uh, he eats honey, which only makes sense. I want to go over some of the moves that Bottles would have taught us if I would have gone around and, you know, examined all the molehills. We're also going to be collecting a couple of things. This uh, game is a platformer, and being that it is, it's got lots of collectibles. So if we press a left trigger and A, we'll be able to uh, jump onto this log and get an empty honeycomb piece. Uh, and if we collect six of them, it's going to increase our energy. So, we gotta look out for those. There's gonna be uh, honeycombs in every world, and there's gonna be a bunch of other collectibles for us to look out for. Um, I'll get into what the collectibles are when we get into the other worlds. So, we're just gonna go along and we're gonna put some honeycomb pieces for now. There's also something behind the waterfall to grab here, which uh, is gonna be an extra life. I think it's actually Banjo. That's what it looks like, a little Banjo statue. Um, things like extra lives, you don't really need to collect if you don't want to. Uh, this game isn't a game that's very difficult to play um, in terms of enemies. Like, you're not going to have a lot of your deaths from enemies. Deaths are most likely just going to be from you know, falling off of a cliff or something, which is um, something that's more likely to happen, which does happen in this game, and it's really frustrating when it does. But um, this game is fun. It's quirky. It's rated E for everybody. It came out, um, and it was kind of geared towards children, but this game also tell you when I was a kid was actually pretty difficult um, in some later levels so even now as an adult I enjoy playing it we're gonna destroy these boulders uh, once again we're going to crouch uh, using left trigger and then we're gonna use X to ram Kazooie's beak into these uh, boulders so uh, being that I've played this game many 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 times I pretty much know the entire game off by heart um, some of the moves I don't remember the names of so that's pretty much the only thing that's kind of um, a little groggy in my memory is the specific names of all the moves but other than that I know where to get all the jigsaw pieces um, and other collectibles uh, where to find uh, bottles you know things like that to get us through this game it's relatively short but um, it's it's pretty much the perfect length which you will see later we only need one more honeycomb piece 
Um, a is to jump, left trigger is to crouch, uh, you can use X to attack, and X is also to um, examine things for the most part. Uh, B is to uh, dive when you're swimming, which I will show off in just a minute here, because that's where our last uh, honeycomb piece is, actually underneath the water. Uh, being that Banjo is a bear, he can swim, uh, and you can see that when you swim underwater, your life bar is um, turned into a water or air bar, I guess. Um, so you actually can drown in this game. So be careful not to uh, drown your furry friends because that would not be good. Um, I know this video went kind of quickly and I didn't really explain much. It seems like I'm in a hurry. Mostly I'm just so incredibly excited. Um, this is a really overplayed game. It's kind of in the Ocarina of Time realm of being really overplayed for Let's Plays and stuff, but I'm still really excited. Um, and I will explain more when we get into our first world, so... So you're ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. And with everything that we've collected in our first little overworld Spiral Mountain, we are ready to move on into the actual uh, lair. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look for our sister. So, for those of you who have never played Boundary Kazooie, I hope that you'll pick up this game and you'll follow me along in the Let's Play, because it's going to be a lot of fun. For those of you who do know about this game and have played it and enjoyed it as much as I do, then I hope you will join me for the ride. Um, if you enjoyed, then please stay tuned for the next video, and uh, we're going to enter the lair and we're going to get our real adventure started so thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope that I will see you next time